Hello friends, welcome to my channel Data Making. In this channel, I am posting a lot of technical content on data science, data engineering and cloud technologies. Please subscribe to my channel if you are not subscribed. And thank you so much for all your support. Uh, in this video, what I am going to uh, do is, uh, I am going to install uh, Docker on uh, Ubuntu operating system. This Ubuntu operating system been installed on uh, WSL. So in the last video, uh, actually uh, we have configured uh, uh, WSL. WSL means uh, Windows subsystem for Linux. And then what we did is basically uh, uh, we installed uh, uh, Ubuntu uh, on uh, WSL, right? So we have a Ubuntu operating system running on uh, uh, WSL. So that's what I log, uh, logged in here. So if you just, uh, uh, just do ls, it's nothing there in my uh, home folder. So um, I just type docker, uh, docker uh, ps command to show the running containers. So it says docker not found, docker con uh, <coughs> command not found. So we are going to install this uh, uh, um, Docker on this Ubuntu operating system, which is running on our uh, WSL. If you want to know how to install a Ubuntu operating system on uh, uh, Windows subsystem for Linux, uh, which is a WSL, please uh, refer my previous video, uh, I, which I explained a step-by-step -step process how to install the WSL and, in and then uh, uh, configure WSL and then install Ubuntu operating system. So let's get started with this video. So I have already the steps to install uh, um, a Docker on Ubuntu uh, 20.04. So this is the operating system which I have it in my WSL. So first thing is update the uh, package index using a, a apt get command. So I'll just copy paste here, then run, uh, enter the password which is data making my username is uh, data making and password also data making so it's going to update my uh, package so so based on interview your internet bandwidth it will take some time so i am using a, a broadband internet so it is uh, uh, comparatively better and fast so and then uh, let's install the uh, some of the dependencies like uh, 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 apt transport https so to download the uh, packages from a particular http url you need that and also we have to we are going to install the curl command to uh, download the remote packages so install this it is going to consume uh, 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 around uh, 164 kb of additional space on my disk i'll say yes and which will install the uh, the dependencies like all other um, utilities so i'll just do clear then once you've done that we are going to update the uh, docker's official gpg key okay so using the curl command we'll take this and paste it here that is done and then what we are going to do is we are going to uh, uh, create the uh, um, the a source list file and add our the repository for it. Okay. So how do you uh, <coughs> we'll actually uh, put the uh, Dockerst stable release uh, repository URL to the Docker dot uh, list file. Further, you can just run this echo command. This is done. If you want to verify, you can verify this ls command. I type twice. So there is a Docker list file which they're pointing to the stable repository Docker repository. So now again update the index by using the sudo app get uh, update. Once this is done, we will go and uh, install the docker community edition that's what it says sudo app get install docker c community edition it is going to take additional 400 mb of disk space so i'll just say yes 
so what we are doing is uh, we have a ubuntu operating system which is uh, uh, 20.04 uh, 04 on my uh, WSL so we are going to install we are installing the docker so that we can create a containers with a, uh, can create a container for different applications like uh, you can uh, <coughs> create a containers for Jupyter notebook where you can actually write your Python programs and do uh, uh, um, machine learning stuff and uh, other uh, <coughs> related to machine learning and data science and we can also have a Kafka kind of components to be running as a Docker container to use as a PubSub messaging system. So that we can use a Docker uh, for different purpose, right? So even for application development, we can use it to deploy your application on Docker container and test your applications. So for many purpose, we are going to use it. So that's the reason I am installing it. So once this is done, so let's say, uh, docker using the uh, command called sudo docker iphone iphone version we can see the docker version so the docker version we installed is basically 20.10 uh, uh, so it's installed so what we do next is uh, we will uh, run the uh, the allow world uh, uh, docker image and uh, run our containers so so docker run um, allow world so when you try to run this <coughs> it says uh, uh, could not connect to docker daemon and is docker daemon is running okay so we, what we'll do is we'll start the docker container just a minute sudo docker status service docker status it's not running so let's try to run that <coughs> you just uh, starting uh, sudo service docker start and again we'll check the status it's running now now let's run the allow world so when you run at sudo docker run allow world so this image it will just check it in a local repository if it does not exist it will pull from the docker hub which is the remote uh, uh, repository for docker images and then it puts and runs so it's just a simple docker uh, image which when you can create a container for that it will just print hello uh, uh, from docker and just print this message so we were able to uh, successfully run this uh, uh, simple docker image and it's working fine so we will also install uh, uh, so uh, basically uh, if you don't want to use sudo before running your docker commands you can add this uh, 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 your user to the a group called docker so let me i am going to use this okay uh, my username is uh, data making i will add it to the okay so you need to uh, inst restart it to reflect it so let it be like that so before that uh, uh, i will just uh, so we install docker we will also install docker compose Docker compose, compose is nothing but uh, if you want to run a multi-container application. So, so we can actually create a Docker image and create a container. So that will run one application, right? So example, if you want to run multiple containers and manage it, okay? So I have to individually have to create an image and run a containers. So Docker compose helps to manage and run multi-container application. So one container I'll use for uh, Kafka, one container I use for some MySQL DB, and one container I may run uh, Django uh, web application. So all this can be started uh, as a single uh, application uh, through our Docker Compose. So, so that's uh, the beauty of Docker Compose. Let's download this. So we can download from this uh, GitHub. You can just change the version if you want to change your version for the latest so i'll just go with the version which is 
29.2 okay so just downloading it it's done so after that uh, we just have to uh, so so we download it and place it in this um, user e slash user usr slash local slash bin and doc, uh, docker compose just change the executable permission okay so once you're done you can actually create the symbolic link for docker compose by sudo ln command the symbolic link and uh, this command will create a, so this is the location docker compose there just create a dim, see, uh, um, sim, uh, symbolic link and place it in the usr bin docker compose location so then you should be able to check your docker compose a uh, version command so see it is installed uh, 1.29.20 so now we were able to install uh, both uh, uh, docker and also uh, docker compose right so both are uh, ready so we can build our docker uh, uh, applications uh, different application using a docker uh, we can build a docker image uh, and uh, <coughs> and a containers right so this all this done on the ubuntu operating system uh, 20.04 which is running on uh, WSL which is a Windows subsystem for Linux so I hope this video is helpful for you if you like this video please uh, um, uh, comment put a comment and also if you have any doubt you can put comment on this video uh, <coughs> and uh, share this video to your friends to uh, get benefited uh, the larger learning community um, thank you so much friends uh, uh, see you in the next video.